Hi everyone and welcome to my place. A viewer out there in the world sent me the most amazing recipe for toilet cleaning bombs. I've tried them and they are fantastic. So if you're looking for a quick and easy way where you don't have to use too much energy, these toilet cleaning bombs are fantastic and they're so easy and you've probably got most of the ingredients already in your cupboard. So I've got a bowl here and into that I'm going to put, whoops I should have taken this off before I started, this is baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. It takes a cup of that, put that into there and it's sort of pretty much just sort of like one of those salt sort of things. So that goes into there followed by a quarter of a cup of citric acid, very good for cleaning all sorts of surfaces and I'll just put that into there, just fill that up. Don't worry about those lumps because we'll break those up as we go through. Now, into, and here's the recipe here. So it's a cup of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda, a quarter of a cup of citric acid and then a t half a teaspoon of warm vinegar. So I've got that here. I'll put that in to there, and I know about how much that is. Yep, that's about as much as we need. Put the lid on everything as you go. And then it's a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, which is fantastic for whitening, uh, getting rid of germs, all sorts of things. That goes into there like so, and then into there. Now, what I prefer is just, uh, I've got two oils here and one is lemongrass essential oil and the other one is peppermint. You could use whatever you wanted to use that has antibacterial properties, smells nice, etc, etc. So I'll just put that into there and I know about, it's about that much goes in to there and give that a good stir up and I'll just check to make sure that I've got all of that sorted out. Yes, I haven't missed anything. Put that into a spritzer bottle and this is the fiddliest, well, yes it is. It's pretty, it is a fiddly job from there. Make sure all the, the lumpy bits are out. Now the reason I've put it into the spritzer is because you need to spritz it in and stir it up. You don't want to use to put the whole lot in at one time because what will happen is it'll all bubble up. So we want to just avoid the bubbling up. And you also need to get it to sort of like a crumbly consistency that sticks together. So just keep spritz a wee bit into there all over that. And it does take, this is, with the little bit of mucking around that I've done, I've worked out that this is about that much at a time and you can see that it's all sort of, can you see into there that it's all sort of starting to clump up, clump but not bubble up. It smells delicious. These bombs, I tell you, have just changed my life like you could never believe because all I need to do now is to, I drop them into the toilet, leave them for about, oh, 20 minutes, half an hour, and then go back with the brush, the toilet brush, and give it a good scrub. And then it's really good on the environment. I know what the chemicals are doing. I'm into looking out for the environment. So just bear with me for a few moments while I just spritz this in and stir it up. It's almost like making a bath bomb, but you'll know that it's starting to come together when it starts to stick in the inside of this of the little whisk here. It still needs a little bit more. And if you do get impatient about this stage, uh, don't get impatient. That's all sort of starting to sort of like clump up together. Perfect. And I really just want to spray, put all of that into there, just turned upside down, you know, take the lid off and just get into it. But don't be tempted to do that because when this turns, it turns really, really quickly. Ah, look at that, that's just about there. See, it's wet, just almost, yeah, in fact, I think that that might just about be ready to go. And then what I do is I just get a teaspoon and then I just push it into there like so to see what it's doing. Yes, that's it. It's wet. Yes, it's wet. That's the word I want to use. Okay, right from there, get rid of all of this out of the road and then I've got a baking tray here and I've put some parchment paper onto that and then get this little spoon here with what I've done and then 
this is, you'll know if it's not right because ah, that's, see how that little bit there's just come off a wee bit? Don't worry about that, just push that into place. And then the next one, it, the, the difficulty I found was getting it to the right consistency inside the spoon so that it held together and didn't disintegrate. But it, and every time I do this, I just about have a, ah, see that there, you could probably, that's just not, see how it stays together like that? If you wanted to, you could just use your hands, but with patience, if you just continue on, what will happen is they will all come out about that shape and it makes a couple of dozen, which is quite good. So then once you get to that stage, just leave them overnight, good 24 hours until they dry. And then these, see they need to be, so, so like crisp, like a, a, a cookie, nice and crisp. Put those into there, you can muck around with them because it took me to put these all out, it took a good probably half an hour of absolute patience. So they, these all just, in fact, they do dry out so, and they don't break. So I'm just going to be Mrs. Rough and just put all of those into there. So they're teaspoon lots. So they will dry out, so you don't, don't worry, they will. And then that just goes into there. And then to prove what they do, I'll just use one of these here. Get one out to show you, because these are great, I love these. And then you just put it into the toilet bowl and then it just fizzes up. Let me just bring that over there. Can you see that fizzing up? It's perfect. Easy cleaning, the hardest bit is actually getting them from this mix or getting the mix right to putting them onto the tray to dry them and then it just quietly, quietly just dissolves when it takes about oh, 10 to 15 minutes. Leave it in there for a good 20 minutes to half an hour. Wait till it's all dissolved and then get your brush in the toilet bowl. It whitens it, deodorizes it, beautiful fragrance. And you don't have to use too much energy to do your house cleaning and cleaning. I think that's a fantastic idea. I hope that you try it. Let me know how you get on. If you've got any other methods of cleaning the toilet bowl, please let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you another day. Thank you.